First tonight, a developing story out of Raleigh where a local lawmaker wants to change what students are taught in sex ed. State Representative Chris Whitmire has introduced a bill that would give school districts more say about what's in the curriculum. News 13's Hope Hanselman joins us now live in Asheville. Hope one change would ban teachers from talking to kids about emergency contraception. Yeah, that's right, Tammy. At schools across the state like T.C. Robertson, pills like Previn, the morning after pill, and Plan B would not be discussed in these classrooms if that bill were to pass. It's part of a values-based education that has some of the community divided. You've got to stay on top of things. You definitely have to stay on top of it. Dean Allen is raising three kids, and the talk most parents dread. Oh, yes, definitely. Definitely. Is familiar in his household. And really, just the truth. They ain't going to get it from their friends. They're going to get it from their parents. Which is why Dean believes House Bill 596 wouldn't hurt what North Carolina students are learning about sex. I think by the time they get to some education in school, they should already have known everything. The bill is aimed at allowing school districts to consider their own values when drawing up the curriculum, rather than being tied to the scientific findings of health experts. Yes, I'd vote for that. But Henderson County public health officials say parents already have a choice over what their kids learn in sex ed. I'm not sure why this is necessary if parents do have the option of of keeping their children out of anything that they might view as sensitive to death. Executive Director Steve Smith says the county has been moving towards more comprehensive education. And the reality today with many populations we deal with is that they don't have that solid family structure. And that includes providing information about emergency contraceptives. Every day I would tell you that I actually get more requests from sectors and parents and families to do more with education, not less. House Bill 596 still has yet to be voted on, but it's getting the discussion started in the community. They know more than we think. <laughs> with the underlying notion that parents and guardians play an important role in what their kids are learning. The parents take the responsibility to teach. Right now, our students are taught that abstinence is the best form of pregnancy prevention, but this bill adds that teachers will have to teach students a mutually faithful, monogamous, heterosexual relationship in the context of marriage is the best way to avoid STDs. Reporting live in South Asheville, Hope Hanselman at News 13.